Hey there, I'm Christopher, this is the Nerd Corner, and here are 10 things you need to know about PSVR 2. You can't hook it up to a PC. Let's start off the list with what's probably going to be the most disappointing thing about the PSVR 2 for many VR fans. You're not going to be able to hook it up to your PC. What's worse, you probably won't be able to do so anytime in the near future, either. Many VR fans, myself included, have been holding out hope that, through some act of techno-wizardry, modders will find a way to let gamers hook their PSVR 2 into a high-end gaming computer and really put the headset through its paces with the latest PC titles. Unfortunately, according to a Reddit post from the developers of the iVRY driver for the original PSVR, even if Sony haven't encrypted the headset data, it could take years of reverse engineering just to get an image on the displays. While this doesn't mean that the PSVR 2 will never work on PC, it does mean that any PC players hoping to grab the feature-packed headset to experience Half-Life Alex in glorious 4K HDR may have a long wait ahead of them. It doesn't have speakers. While the PSVR 2 may feature some of the best optics of any consumer headset on the market when it arrives later this month, boasting a stunning 2000 by 2040 pixel resolution per eye, 110 degree field of view, and 120 hertz refresh rate all running on OLED HDR displays, one thing it won't have is built-in audio. Unlike other consumer headsets, like the MetaQuest 2 or Pico Neo 4, the PSVR 2 lacks any built-in audio. Instead, relying on users to provide their own headphones. Now, the PSVR 2 will come with a pair of earbuds in the box. One would certainly hope so given the cost of the device. But it's likely that most players will want something with a bit more oomph to take advantage of the PS5's 3D Tempest audio engine. Luckily, gamers will be able to plug their own headphones into Sony's new headset, though for anything more than earbuds, you'll have to make sure they can fit over the PSVR 2's head strap. The PS5 also supports multiple wireless headsets for players looking for wireless audio, and will of course support Sony's own Pulse wireless headphones for those who prefer to stick with the PSVR 2's all-white aesthetic. You need to learn to love the wire. Another adjustment for some VR fans will be the reduced freedom of movement when playing games as a result of the PSVR 2's wired connection to the PS5. While many longtime PC VR gamers, wary of the compression artifacts and latency introduced by wireless connections, would never even consider using wireless VR, for those whose introduction to virtual reality was on a MetaQuest or Pico headset, the idea of tethered VR will be a whole new concept. The PSVR 2 is a powerful headset, packed with some of the latest features in consumer VR, and pushing all of those pixels is going to require that hard line to the PS5. Luckily, unlike the original PSVR, which required users to connect a bulky breakout box and set up the PlayStation camera, the PSVR 2 only requires a single USB-C cable connected to the PS5. The cable is roughly 4.4 meters, or just about 14 feet, which could prove to be limiting in some room scale titles. While gamers will be able to extend the reach of their PSVR 2 by using a USB-C adapter, it's still unclear which one gamers should be looking for. I plan on testing that out as soon as mine arrives. As far as the possibility of a wireless PSVR 2 in the future, that remains to be seen. While the PSVR 2's USB-C cable can, with some effort, be detached, it's unclear whether this hints at support for a wireless adapter in the future, or is just meant to ensure that having your cat chew through the PSVR 2 cable doesn't mean your pricey headset is suddenly DOA. PSVR 2 will automatically map your room. One unique feature of the PSVR 2 is that, unlike headsets like the MetaQuest that require users to map out the objects in their play space before hopping into a game, the device will automatically scan the room and map out the play space in seconds. Not only will this save players time, letting them hop right into the action instead of fiddling around with controllers as they attempt to outline the walls and objects in their room, but it should help prevent any unexpected run-ins with furniture while dodging dinos in Horizon Call of the Mountain. Gamers won't be limited by the built-in room scanning, though. Once the PSVR 2 has mapped out an area, 
Players can use the controllers to edit the floor height and reshape the play space boundaries, expanding or shrinking them as necessary before choosing whether to play in seated, standing, or room scale mode. Much like on Meta and Pico headsets, the PSVR 2 will also project a grid in front of users as they reach the edge of their play space and warn them if they step beyond the boundaries they've established. Not every PSVR game will work on PSVR 2. One unfortunate fact about the PSVR 2 that's sure to sting for gamers who were all in on Sony's first entry into the world of virtual reality is that the headset won't be backwards compatible with many existing PSVR games. For gamers who were eager to dive into acclaimed PSVR titles like the cinematic crime caper Blood and Truth and the charming and colorful Astrobot Rescue Mission, or hoping to explore the mountains of wildly creative, user-generated content in Media Molecule's game creation system Dreams, this is sure to be a bit of a disappointment. That's not to say all original PSVR games won't work with the new headset, though. Even though there isn't universal backwards compatibility for existing PSVR games, several developers have taken it upon themselves to update their titles to work with Sony's new high-tech headset. Support for older titles remains limited, however, which means PlayStation gamers with a hefty backlog of beloved PSVR games may want to hold on to their aging hardware for just a bit longer. And even though several popular PSVR games will work with the PSVR 2, this comes with a sizable and sometimes pricey caveat, which brings us to our next entry. Not every upgrade will be free. While some of the most popular games from the original PSVR, like Cloudhead Games' Frantic Rhythm Shooter Pistol Whip and Resolution Games' addictive card-based RPG Demio, will receive a free upgrade to work with PSVR 2, Fans of some other titles will have to open their wallet before revisiting their favorites on the new hardware. Since backwards compatibility doesn't occur at a system level, and instead has to be implemented by developers on a game-by-game -game basis, different titles are taking different approaches when it comes to charging for PSVR 2 upgrades. Some developers have chosen to charge only a small upgrade fee to gamers looking to play some of their favorite PSVR titles on the new hardware. Enhanced Games is one developer taking this approach with their acclaimed VR titles Tetris Effect and Res Infinite, each offering a PSVR 2 upgrade for those willing to shell out $10. For other popular games, though, like Polyarch's adorable VR platformer Moss and its sequel, players will have to purchase a brand new copy of the game before they can enjoy it on the PSVR 2. You can control games with your eyes. One of the most advanced features of the PSVR 2 and one that no doubt has many gamers' minds racing with ideas for how it could be used, is the headset's built-in eye tracking. The PSVR 2 uses top-of-the-line Tobii eye tracking to track players' gaze, which has been the go-to choice for gamers in the flight simulator community for years due to its precise, high-quality eye and head tracking. Not only will the pupil-peeping tech open up new possibilities for both controls and gameplay, but it should also allow for more realistic and natural interactions with other users and social VR applications. While many developers have kept the details about if and how they'll be using the PSVR 2's eye tracking features in their upcoming titles close to the chest, gamers have already gotten a glimpse of some innovative and occasionally bone-chilling uses of the technology. Regardless of whether developers choose to use the PSVR 2's built-in eye tracking to introduce new gameplay features, every title should be able to take advantage of the foveated rendering allowed by the PSVR 2. By tracking where players are looking, developers can focus their resources on rendering only that area at the highest detail level, while dropping down the quality in the periphery. Foveated rendering has already been used to boost performance in some titles for the MetaQuest Pro, which sports similar eye tracking tech, and should help developers use the powerful PS5 to deliver some truly stunning visuals. Next Gen Haptics one of the biggest selling points of the PS5 for many gamers was the console's DualSense controller, which offers haptic feedback that goes far beyond the standard rumble features that gamers have grown accustomed to. The controller's powerful motors and adaptive triggers lets players feel the kick from an in-game rifle or the tension in a tightly drawn bowstring, and can really help increase immersion in games. This technology is now being put to use to make the worlds of PSVR 2 games feel more lifelike than ever, with the PSVR 2 Sense controllers featuring the same advanced haptic feedback and adaptive triggers as their console counterparts. 
These new features should allow developers to deliver gameplay experiences on PSVR 2 that feel more lifelike and tactile than is currently possible with traditional VR controllers. The PlayStation VR 2 Sense controllers also include advanced finger touch detection, making it possible to precisely map and replicate players' finger placement in-game in supported titles. In addition to the advanced haptics in the controllers, the PSVR 2 also features a vibration motor built directly into the headset that can deliver a slight shake to players' heads. While this feature may sound superfluous and, frankly, a little bit silly, it has the possibility to open the door to some interesting gameplay uses, and could even potentially reduce motion sickness for players. You can enjoy movies and games on the big screen. While the main appeal of the PSVR 2 is undoubtedly the ability to play the latest and greatest VR titles, that's not the only thing this next-gen headset can be used for. In addition to transporting players into fully rendered VR worlds, the PSVR 2 also lets players play traditional games or watch their favorite shows on a massive virtual screen. Like the original PSVR, the PSVR 2 will have a cinematic mode that lets users enjoy flat-screen content on the headset's gorgeous displays. When using cinematic mode, PSVR 2 users can see games and movies projected in 1080p HDR on the virtual screen, with 24Hz support ensuring that movies will look identical to their big screen counterparts. And when players feel like tackling some of their non-VR backlog, PSVR 2 cinematic mode will also support up to 120Hz refresh rate, ensuring lightning-fast response times even when playing fast-paced flat-screen titles. Some of the best VR games are already there. Even with all of the impressive technology built into its sleek and stylish form factor, the PSVR 2 wouldn't be much use to gamers if there weren't some great games to play on the headset. Luckily, not only are brand new titles like Horizon Call of the Mountain and the Dark Picture Switchback making their way to Sony's new headset, but the PSVR 2 will also be home to some of the biggest titles in VR, though, sadly, no Half-Life Alex. While players may not yet be able to step into the shoes of Eli Vance's combine-blasting daughter Alex on PSVR 2, they'll be able to take their pick from some of the best of what VR has to offer. From the galaxy-hopping adventures of No Man's Sky, to the zombie-filled streets of The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners Part 1 and 2, to the booty-shaking VR phenomenon that is Beat Games' blockbusting rhythm game Beat Saber, the PSVR 2 is the perfect way for gamers new to VR to experience some of the incredible titles that helped establish virtual reality as a viable medium for gaming in the first place. Add in some incredible looking PC ports, like developer Better Than Life's Kayak VR Mirage, and a dash of charming, beautiful indie titles, like Before Your Eyes and The Last Clockwinder, and the PSVR 2 looks set to have a little something for every type of gamer. Hey, thank you so much for sticking around until the end of the video. This was only my first video on VR, but it definitely won't be the last. I plan on covering PSVR 2, PC VR, and mobile VR. If you like what you saw, you can hit that like button, and if you want to see my future content, you can click subscribe. Thank you so much for coming by, I really do appreciate it. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your evening, your afternoon, your morning, whatever time it is, wherever you're at. I really do appreciate you spending a little bit of that time with me. Thanks. See you soon.